How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Rob and today I'll be taking a look at the K320 Mechanical Keyboard from Their God. A feature rich keyboard with a pretty attractive price. So let's take a look. First off, when you unbox the keyboard, you're greeted with the keyboard itself that is wrapped around two layers of plastic. So you have a thin plastic film around the keyboard itself. And then you have a hardcover plastic protecting the keys from any damage during shipping, which is always nice to see. Along with that, you have the user manual, a coaster that is branded their God and it's made of a mouse pad like cloth material, which is a little extra, but it's always something nice to see. You have a keycap holder that is branded as well. So that's always cool. So if ever you want to clean your keys or if you wanted to change them for custom keycaps, it's very easy for you to remove them. You have two cables. You have a USB-C to USB-C cable and a USB-C to USB cable, which is really nice to see the fact that Durgod gives you the option to connect it the way you want. The USB-C to USB-C cable is substantially shorter though, so depending on where your PC is relative to where you'll be putting your keyboard will depend on which cable you'll have to use. But worst case, you always have a backup USB-C cable if ever you need it, or you could use it as a regular USB-C cable for any other device. Taking a look at the exterior of the keyboard, you see that it is a TKL form factor, which means there is no number pad on the outside, which makes it a bit shorter in terms of length, but gives you more room on your mouse pad. If you're somebody who likes to play with a low sensitivity on their mouth, it'll give you more room uh, for flicks or anything like that that you're using for your mouse or if you just don't need a numpad in general it's a great way to save space as for the keyboard itself it's really cool that it comes with different options and choices so their god does give you the option of many different cherry switches which is always cool to see so you have brown you have red you have blue you have silent red you have speed silver and they also give you the option of different finishes so you could have a space gray edition which is what i have here so the space gray has this um, space gray is named for the frame itself the light gray keycaps with the white font and a little dark gray accent on the sides. The other option, as you can see behind me, which I'll talk about, is the dark edition. So that has a dark frame with a black font on gray keycaps and a blue accent keycaps for the escape keys and enter keys and stuff like that. We also have two hinges to provide three levels of height adjustability. So the keyboard does go a flat and middle then a bit of a higher um, height adjustment and all the adjustments have a non-slip rubber coating on the bottom of the feet. Continuing to the back of the keyboard, we see that Durgod has implemented their own way of cable management for this keyboard. So we do have three grommets, one straight out the middle. So if you're just connecting the USB-C down the middle, you could just leave it straight. The other two options are to the left and the right. So depending on where your PC is to your keyboard, you could clean up your cable management a bit with the grommets that are built into the keyboard. As I mentioned, this keyboard does come available with a variety of Cherry MX switches. Unfortunately, I don't have all the varieties with me today. I only have two, which are the Cherry MX red switches on the Space Gray keyboard and the Speed Silver switches on the dark black keyboard with the blue keycaps. So what I'll do for you now is give you guys a sound test for both of those keyboards. Now I did go through most of the positive about this keyboard, but there are some factors or lack thereof that people would find negative with this keyboard. If you are looking for a gamery aesthetic, this keyboard might not be right for you since it does not have any of that RGB goodness or perky lighting effects. It is just a plain keyboard with its keycaps, nor does it have any dedicated media controls. So you do have to use the function keypad if you do want to access any media keys. If you're somebody that really likes to use macros on their keyboard, whether it be for Adobe Premiere or video editing or Photoshop or anything like that, unfortunately, the software for this keyboard was non-existent. At least for me anyway, I couldn't find it on their website. They recommend the Zeus engine, but the only software I was able to find from the Durgod website is the Hera software, which is used for their Haiti and Gemini keyboard. So it didn't even allow me to create any macros or any other features for this keyboard. Overall, I definitely believe that this keyboard is worth the price. $100 US or $130 Canadian, you're getting a board with a lot of great features. You're getting genuine Cherry MX switches, PBT double shot keycaps, an awesome TKL form factor. You're getting a removable USB-C cable and an additional cable in the box. You're getting a keycap holder. You're getting uh, cable management ties. 
You have three levels of height adjustability. I mean, this keyboard does have a lot of awesome features. No, you're not getting any of that game re aesthetic or RGB lighting, but if that's something you're into, there's plenty of other options on the market today. I think their God has done a good job of providing people with a keyboard that has important features that will benefit their typing experience while using this keyboard. Well, that's gonna do it for the review today, guys. Thanks for joining me. This was my first video, so if you guys have any feedback or comments, it'd be greatly appreciated. If you liked the video, let me know. And if there's any other questions you'd like answered about this keyboard, feel free to comment down below and I'll try to answer all the questions as much as I can.